What are you doing? You goofy baby. What are you doing with the milk on your head? <laughs> Made yourself a clo cozy little little bed over here. And I also know for a fact that you're naked under there. I know for a fact that you're naked with the fireplace on, watching cartoons on a 70 degree day. <laughs> you take after me so much. You're you have mommy's heart. You know mommy likes cozy things like this. our fruit shopping and in a little while we're going to drop off the stuff at our house and then we're gonna go to the park and play some baseball with Wells and then we're gonna go home and see Alva and eat some lunch mm -hmm. yeah Does that sound good mm -hmm. and play baseball with Dada outside mm -hmm. okay. we'll play baseball we will we'll play baseball with Dada in a little while um, please. In another beach, yes. We'll go back to the beach next month. That sound good? Go beach. We'll go to another beach next month. We'll pick another beach. So that is the plan, you guys. We are planning on most likely finding another beach to go to next month. Just kind of hang out and have a nice, quiet family day again. I really like the beach that we went to this past time. Like, don't get me wrong. But the only thing I didn't like about it is, I mean, it was nice to be able to drive up onto the beach and like play in the sand and everything right there next to our car and have everything that we needed. Like, cause I feel like when we normally go to the beach, <laughs> when we go to the ocean, you have to park like a mile away from the beach and you have to bring all of your stuff. But I mean, I, I so I like that part of it, but the only part I didn't like is that we got there very early and there was not a lot of traffic but even when there wasn't a lot of traffic there was still there were still cars going like up and down the beach so we always had to keep a close eye on him and Alva in terms of cars and then the closer it got to noon it got a lot more crowded and I was just not comfortable with that type of a crowd right now any normal year it would have been fine but just at this moment in time was not comfortable with it so we're gonna find another beach and i mean i think it's the beach that we just went to we went to ocean shores it's a very popular beach and it's a beach that's very easy to get to and it's very family friendly so i think we're gonna try and hit up one of the beaches that are part of the national park the olympia national park is right we are right next to the national park we're actually like sandwiched in between like three national parks, but the one that's next to the ocean. So I think we're gonna end up going and trying to do one of those be beaches. There's La wait, Push. Wait, where's Dada, Mama? Dada will be right back. There's La Push, which most people know from Twilight. So we can always go to that beach, which is beautiful. There's some beaches north of that, so north of Forks. Uh, there's Ruby Beach, which is also a part of the national park which looks very beautiful. So, I mean, there's a lot to choose from. It's just which one do we want to go to and at, like at what time. I only feel really comfortable doing it on the weekdays, not on the weekends because of crowds. Cheese! I can't hold it. I, you can't, no, you can't hold it right now. 
Because we're in the cheese? car. Yeah. No cheese? Cheese! No cheese! Oh, okay. You just said you... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You goofy baby! What are you doing with the milk on your head? <laughs> What's that milk doing on your head? <laughs> You're silly. Those long legs. You get those long legs from Dada. Mommy does not have long legs. Look at the milk on your head. Look at that milk on your head. You silly goose. Oh! having for dinner tonight two Cornish hens they're awfully small I don't think I'll be able to eat a whole one but Brandon most definitely will for tonight's dinner side I'm making my own homemade coleslaw uh, so it's a healthier version of coleslaw so much healthier than what you would get in the store so I just mixed up several ingredients to make the sauce and then instead of getting um, cabbage and carrots and having to shred them all, I just get this <laughs> from Walmart. It's like a buck fifty, and it has all the cabbage and the carrots, green and red cabbage and carrots in it. It's all shredded up, the perfect amount. And then really quickly, I am going to take some green onion and I'm gonna chop them up, including um, some of the green part, throw them in there mush it all, put it all together. Uh, <laughs> I'll show you what the coleslaw looks like. Like even this dude likes the coleslaw. That's how good this coleslaw is and it's healthy, so. So here's a quick look at the green onions that I put in the sauce. And now I'm gonna put in the cabbage and just mix it all together. So here it is, you guys, all mixed up. You see those big guys? I see chicken. Yeah, those are those are specific type. They're called Cornish hens. No, there's not Cornish hens. This chicken. Okay, if you say so. If you say so. This pretty hot. It is very hot in there. You're right. So I'm about to take these out and baste them. I've been basting them about every 10 minutes or so. All right, I'm going to baste some more butter on these right In about another 10 minutes, we'll do the same thing. Going back into the oven to cook some more. There we go. All right, guys, here is the finished hen. Looks so good, it smells so good. So for the last 10 minutes, I actually increased the temperature and it browned it really nicely and makes the like, outside skin nice and crispy. I buttered it, I showed you guys buttering it probably like every 10 to 15 minutes. And now I'm just gonna put it all on a plate with some coleslaw and we gonna have some dinner. Did you like my dinner tonight? It was fantastic. Did you like the Cornish hen? Yes. Well, how would you describe it? How would you describe your meal tonight? Amazing. Amazing? I see it. I got it. I know. There are clouds. It's gone. 
There are clouds up there. Okay. You and Dad can watch cars um, this weekend. Look at this beast of a spider. Look at this thing. That's one of the smaller ones. That's one of the smaller ones too. It's huge and it's all curled up right now so it doesn't look that big but it's pretty big. All right guys, so I think we're done for the day. We're gonna sign off on the vlog until tomorrow. Enjoy some bubble footage, slow-mo bubble footage uh, right here of Brandon <laughs> whilst doing this. <laughs>